Hello and welcome to Talking Defense, Raphael's Defense Magazine. Every program will be dedicated to a different subject with all relevant experts, data and aspects here in the studio and from around the world. And today, Electronic Warfare Defense Solutions. With me in the studio today is Boris Katzman, Marketing and Business Development Manager, EW Solutions. Thank you so much, sir, for joining me. So what is exactly Naval EW? So Naval EW, Electronic Warfare, is the exploitation of the electromagnetic spectrum in the naval arena. So it has many tasks. The one most important task it has is the detection and understanding uh, of what's around the ship in the, spec in the electromagnetic spectrum. So for example, let's take a commercial uh, ship that's just on the horizon or a missile approaching the ship and you need to detect it just in time to react. What's the difference between naval EW and I don't know, other, other aspects of EW? Because we find EW all over on land, in air, etc., etc. So is naval EW different? So naval EW, I think it's different because it's a, it's a complex field and you need to understand the situational awareness around the ship and the, the ship has a very congested environment around it. Okay, so we, if we are talking about, let's say, take example, littoral waters when you're close to the shore, it, it's a very difficult task to understand what's around you. And that's mainly due to the fact that today, uh, close to the shore, there are a lot of communications going on in the electromagnetic spectrum, such as 4G, 5G communications, data links, commercial, and also the radars are becoming much more challenging to understand what's around you. How complicated is the system? How complicated is it to build that picture from all over, you know, sitting sometimes in a very small ship or a very big ship? Because it, that's a big difference as well. Uh, yeah, so we have several, uh, we have developed several generations of our electronic situational awareness systems. Uh, one of the latest generation is the CPL digital version, the CPL DV. So it has a lot of capabilities uh, built to all kinds of ships. So it can be fitted to a smaller vessels or to a very big uh, frigate and uh, get the job done for all these types of solutions. So after we've built that picture of threats or understanding the arena, the second one is to understand, to be able to identify enemies from friends, threats from opportunities, right? Yeah, so let, let's take an example of a missile approaching the ship. Once it's approached a ship, it has very similar parameters to uh, ones of navigational radar. So you need to understand that, identify the missile with 100% probability, and uh, engage the protection capabilities of the vessel. What kind of, of protection uh, are possible? Do you go for soft kill, for hard kill? What yes, so one of the obvious choices that everybody goes and talks about is the hard kill, is fire an interceptor into the missile and hit it. But this is a very simplistic scenario. In the complex scenarios of today, usually missiles aren't coming along. The enemy understands that in order to penetrate the defenses of the ship, it needs to synchronize several missiles from different times, from different directions. Uh, different types, so and then come together on the ship. So when you fire this interceptor uh, and you have a lot of attacking missiles coming in, the, eventually they will overwhelm the ship. So first of all, you don't have enough interceptors on the ship to do the task. Uh, for, secondly, the missiles are maneuvering. So once you maneuver, it's very difficult to intercept it. And third of all, it's, a, it's an interceptor. So you may fire it and you think it's a missile, but maybe it's an airplane commercial airplane coming at you and you just fire the missile at him. I understand. And, and which possible markets do you see for those, uh, uh, those systems that you're operating? So, like I said, for ship defense, uh, the interceptor is not enough. So in order to provide a full solution for a ship uh, and not just rely on interceptors, you have to rely on, a, rely on a layered approach. You have to have several solutions employed. And when you employ some of these solutions or all of these solutions, then you can guarantee the ship's survivability. So I'll talk about one of these solutions. It's the decoy launching system. Okay, so actually Raphael was a pioneer in the decoy launching uh, system markets. In 1973, in the Yom Kippur War, uh, the Israeli Navy vessels uh, were attacked by Styx missiles fired from uh, uh, many uh, uh, enemy ships. And uh, they employed rockets by Raphael, chaff rockets, and none of these uh, missiles has hit. Okay, but since then, you know, the missile threat has evolved uh, by much. 
So countries interested in such systems, what do you promise them to be able to do? So actually we are able to cope not only with these uh, simple uh, attacking missiles which uh, ch can chaff, uh, can uh, fool them. Okay, today we know that missiles employ very advanced algorithms in order to discriminate chaff. They look at chaff and they see that it's chaff, it's not a target, they disqualify it and go for the target. So in order to cope with these threats, we've developed several solutions. One of these solutions is the wizard. The wizard is a corner reflector. It's fired away from the ship. It's a, it's a rocket that is fired away from the ship. It implodes in the air, and then it generates a very legitimate task uh, target for the missile. And the missile, if it's in the search uh, stage, it identifies this target as a legitimate target and goes for it. So it's a very uh, unique and very interesting solution for ship defense, aside from the interceptors. So what other solutions do you have? So others, uh, other solution that we have is a very unique solution. Oh, it's called the CGM. The CGM is an active offboard decoy. So unlike the corner reflectors, the CGM, when it's fired from the ship, it doesn't inflate. It opens a parachute, and in the end of the parachute, you have a full EW system. Okay, so you have a full programmable EW system that is capable not only uh, taking the, the, the missile and luring it, but it on, can also fool on the missile and generate all kinds of programmable EW techniques on the missile. So that's a very unique solution, and it's a very uh, operationally proven solution. That we Other have. solutions that you want to the, mention? Okay, in addition to that, we have also an onboard solution, which is called the Digital Shark. The Digital Shark is an a, a onboard jammer. Okay, so the capability of the onboard jammer is to prevent the missile from locking on the ship. So if we were talking about decoys that were fired from the ship in order to lure it to, towards them, you want also to prevent your ship from getting a lock on. So you can generate a very powerful signal on the missile and prevent it from locking on and going to the decoy. Boris Katzman, fascinating. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. And that's uh, all from us for uh, today. We'll be back shortly with another edition of Talking Defense. Until then, stay safe and stay tuned. Bye-bye.